there. I wonder if there's something I should. Do you want to put a quilt back here? What quilt? I don't know. Sure. Am I live? Oh, I'm live. <laughs> this is terrible when I can't see when I'm live. My gosh, how embarrassing. <laughs> um, hello, everybody. Emily Taylor here, Space Cadet, live in my studio. I pushed the go live button and there was no countdown, which I was used to with Restream. Okay, so sorry about that. I'm a professional. Really, I am. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I always love to see people as they hop on. Um, I want to kind of just dive in and tell you what we're going to talk about today. We're going to try and keep it short so that your day doesn't, um, so I don't interfere with your day too much. Um, the li These live videos, though, are a great chance for you. If you have a question for me about making a collage quilt, I am happy to answer any of the questions that might that you might be coming up with. Um, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for any questions, please just put your question in the chat um, and, and I'll get to those in a minute. But um, so the other things that I wanna talk about are what I'm going on, what's going on in my studio, what I'm working on. I'll show that to you in a minute and then um, any new products or uh, updates in my shop, the Collage Quilter shop, and then I'll get to your questions. So that's kind of what I'm figuring is a helpful format. Um, so first of all, let me show you what I'm working on. So as you know, I am developing a block of the month program to launch in a couple months. And Amelia and I are designing all the fabric that's going to go with this, and I'm designing all of the the collage pieces. So it will be a really fun uh, monthly uh, project for you to work on. It will be um, a very manageable bite-sized collage and all the, the fabric, background fabrics that you'll need to make this block. A little similar to what we did with the garden party quilt, okay? So the one I'm working on this week, let me show it to you right now. I'm not finished. Um, in fact, I have a lot of scraps. I'm kind of messing around with the stem. Let me brush that off. But here is the tulip. This will be one of the blocks. The This is the concept for one of the blocks that will be in the block of the month. So, um, yeah, I uh, this, here you go. This is it. <laughs> I decided that I would start in these live videos. I've been, I've kept everything pretty tightly under wraps but um, I've decided in these live videos, I will reveal kind of the progress with the blocks. So this is one, this is a very, this is going to be a very tall block. Um, and that's part of the fun that every single month with the block of the month, it will be a different um, orientation and a different size, different design, but it's going to, they will all coordinate together like the like a finished in a you know for a finished quilt so that's that that's what i'm working on you can kind of see my little mess right here um the other okay so now let me shift gears and kind of talk to you about a few other things that we have um we have we get a lot of requests for kits so my very favorite beginner pattern has uh, we've created this into a kit. So let me show you this real quick. Now we grab one of those kits. Okay, this is, many of you have seen this, many of you have done it. So this is my very favorite beginner pattern. Look how cute, I still, I still love this every time I see it. This is called Clementine. It is a super simple beginner pattern. We've grabbed the foundation panel too. And look at what we've done. We have kitted 50 different fabrics specifically for the Clementine pattern. Um, so it includes fabric for the pot, the Clementines, the green, and the background. Now this is a foundation panel, and that means that the design is printed on a foundation panel. Have you got it, Amelia? Well, it's 
That's okay. okay. Just show it. So Amelia's going to show you this real quick, what this is. Oops. Okay. So a foundation panel is like this. It has the design printed in shades of gray, and then you just apply the fabric according to the shades of gray. So anyway, that's new in the shop. We have a few of those available left. Um, the other thing that we are launching that I'm excited about is live webinars. So many of you um, have requested um, information about coming to one of my retreats. Uh, as you know, we just finished up the uh, 2023 retreat up in Park City, Utah, and it was three days of instruction and really good food, and we had a great time together. But it's uh, something that is hard for many people to to come, and um, it's something I'm probably not going to do next year. Uh, I haven't decided. I've got some personal stuff happening, and so I, I've just set that aside. Um, I don't want to plan something uh, for. I, I, I'm not planning a retreat for next year. So we decided to make uh, webinars available. Um, these are now available on our website. You can come, and if you if you sign up on the website, it's uh, two and a half hours of live instruction with me, interactive instruction. So we can see each other. You can ask me questions, uh, but I will dive, kind of do the deep dive into color theory according to Emily and applying that to a collage quilt as well as design. And Amelia is part of that uh, little lecture where we will talk about what makes good design. So that is also now available um, on the website. So there you go. Um, let's see. Anything else that's new that we want to talk about? No. Okay, so we're getting through everything real quick. I've shown you what I am working on, we, what the new products are, and now it is time to get into your uh, your questions. So we have, Amelia, have you got some mm -hmm. questions? Okay, so we get some pretty common questions, and I'm going to answer those questions. And then um, I also, if you have questions, um, I'm going to get to, I'm going to get to your questions first, and then we'll do the questions that you've received. Okay. Okay. Does that sound good? Okay. So let me just scroll down here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Michelle asks a great question. She says, how do you find your inspiration? Um, well, it's kind of a process that I've, that I honed. Um, number one, I, um, I like to make time for my brain to just, uh, be bored and think. I think that's a really, I think that's the first step. So to find inspiration, you've got to allow yourself to have a clear mind without distractions. So I will put my phone away. This is often when I'm hiking um, in the mountains or biking. Um, I love to be in nature because I think obviously nature is a great inspiration, but I love to just clear my mind and start thinking about what do I like? What are the things that make me happy? Um, what are the things that I find beautiful? Then the next step will be, I will go to Pinterest and just start scrolling on Pinterest. Um, I love the Pinterest platform because it the it is a, a feast for creators. There's just nothing more inspirational than to go on to Pinterest. And the other thing I like about Pinterest is the algorithm. Um, as you begin pinning and putting things on your board, the algorithm will show you things that are similar or what it thinks you're going to want to see. So Pinterest has been a really great resource for me um, and Amelia. And we do what we call kind of a mood board as we kind of begin to narrow down what we're working on or what our concept is. Um, for example, a cat quilt. Like we, we both have decided we're going to be working on a cat quilt. And... 
um, so we'll create at least one main board, maybe some sub boards on Pinterest that catch our eye. And, and to make it on that cat board, it's not necessarily all cats. It will be, um, it be come over here and participate. Okay. Here, <laughs> here she comes. This here rolling comes. chair is a piece of crap. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Okay, so what makes our, it on the mood board? Yeah, so what makes it on the mood board on Pinterest? Um, like for our, our block of the month Pinterest board, I've pinned a lot of architecture and wallpaper and rooms that have the aesthetic that I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, so we just are thinking it's about so many different. It's not just fabric and it's not just whatever the mm -hmm. element is that we're going to do. It's a lot of. We're looking for we're, we're shapes. It's we're colors, trying to it's, get into the feel. We're trying to get into the feel of what we want that quilt to look like. Right. Mm hmm. So I, I think, think that would be as we get closer to releasing block of the month, it would be really fun to share that. I think we will. With everyone. Cause I think it really explains like what our creative process was with, with designing it. Yeah, I agree. I think that would be super helpful for mm -hmm. people. Um, so the other element that really helps me to get inspiration, this little girl right here, um, she is, she just has, I've said this before, Amelia has a really great aesthetic. She's got a good design eye. And Amelia's always looking at things. And, and she goes to... She's always shopping. She's always shopping. <laughs> she's, always look, she's always shopping in antique stores and estate sales. And what else do you do? I'm always on Pinterest and always saving things on Instagram and following creators that I love she follows interior designers and stuff like that so um so those are those are some of the ways that we find in inspiration so i've kind of laid those things out and tr travel travel like yeah. our block of the month is inspired by our mm -hmm. favorite place i've ever been in my life <laughs> yeah. i'm so excited about it yeah ditto so um okay I think there's pro there's probably more. We could actually write a book. In fact, I'm kind of working on a book. <laughs> I've said this before about tapping into inspiration and how to harness, how to find it and how to harness inspiration and apply inspiration. So um, that's kind of the basics of it. Um, all right. So let's keep going on questions. Um, oh, it's so fun to see people from Norway and from all over. Thanks again for hopping on. Uh, let's see. Peggy asked a question. How many blocks will the block of the month be? We have narrowed it down. There will be 10 blocks. Well, and 10 months. 10 months. But it's, some. Actually, that's right. There are 10 months that it will go on. 12. 12 S blocks? Um, yeah. Some months there will be. Some months will be um, really small, small, and there will be multiple blocks in that. Um, but ten months, so there you go. Uh, let's see here. Oh, great! So I'm not sure who this is, but Lavender Butterfly said this is going to be um, her number one project in 2024. Me too. I'm excited about it. Thanks. Uh, let's see here. I saw I saw some questions asking if it will be a beginner friendly project the block of the month. Yeah, the block of the month will contain some beginner friendly content for sure. Um, it will also contain at several different, um, I guess, I'd, methods, types, types of blocks. We will have some parchment pressing blocks, and we will have some foundation panel panel blocks in in the uh in the quilt so that will be something new and interesting so it will give you a really great um it, it'll give you great exposure to the types of blocks that i do and i am trying to keep them 
a confident beginner to intermediate level. Um, obviously, I don't want to put out anything that excludes people. So it's, it's, it's going to be probably the ability level that was required for the roosters, which I feel like was a good confident beginner. Don't you think? I, yeah. We, we need to make Amelia do it. And then if Amelia can do it, it will be, um, <laughs> it'll be safe. It'll get the, be it'll get the beginner <laughs> label. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see here. I just saw another question. When will the block of the month start and end? Do you know the cost yet? Um, we don't know when it will start and end because the, the thing that will take a long time for us is, uh, I mentioned we're, the collage part is the simple part of this, and I'm almost done with that. The thing that is going to take some time is once we finish getting all of our fabric design done, we're almost there. Um, we've created at this point six to eight fabrics mm -hmm. yeah I, I need to so. I need to count them up we've created six to eight fabrics and there are a few little tweaks that I need to make on all of them make sure the make sure of some things but then we're going to submit that artwork to our printer in Korea the manufacturer in Korea and then we'll get strike offs and we have to go through that whole process of approving strike offs and then placing the final order um, so that takes about a month to when we're at that point and, um, I'm pushing, but I'm not going to make myself crazy. So anyway, what it, I, I'm hoping we'll be able to deliver it by, uh, I'd love to, I'd love to hit February. Don't you think mm -hmm. February is kind of my goal to release it at beginning in February, but we've got a lot of work to get it to that point still. So Anyway, um, let's see here. Oh, Christine said hello from Guernsey Channel Islands. Um, off Ireland? I, yeah, I think that's off the, off the coast of uh, England, Ireland. I'm not sure. Guernsey, after the Guernsey Green, Literary yeah. <laughs> Potato <laughs> Pill Society. That's Irish, I think. Is it? I, I don't remember. Anyway, sounds cool. That's awesome. Um. Okay, let's see here. We have a question. I When I'm cutting the feathers for the roosters, I find myself cutting them very thin. Any suggestions to help my brain stay larger than a quarter inch wide? Yeah, that's really thin. <laughs> that's, tiny. That's, those are tiny, thin fe feathers. Um, my tip would be, <laughs> here's an exercise that you could do. Sometimes I have to put my students on a timer and say, I want you to cover this area of what you're working on in X number of minutes. And so I'll turn a timer on and they know that they've then got to pick up the pace and, and the, the um, focus is shifted to just executing that task. So, and the task is accomplishing, co covering this area in the time frame. So I would I would recommend maybe doing that, giving yourself that task. And even if it's not on the roosters, maybe you could do um, do it with another collage or something. That way, you're forced to cut your pieces a little bit bigger so that you can move along faster. So there's my there's my suggestion. Uh, let's see here. Will the block of the month go into a quilt? Will the block of the month go into a quilt? Absolutely. This whole thing is the reason it's complex and getting slow in getting started is that I not only do we have to design, we, we're designing the entire quilt at the same time and um, making all sure of the fabrics, making together. sure everything works together, making sure all the blocks fit. All the fit. sizes are yeah. compatible with each other. Yeah. So it is a complete kit, although each block will stand on its own as well. And we will sell them individually as well. So that's that's that. We're right. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Um. Okay. <laughs> Marguerite. Oh, we gotta translate that. Yeah, Marguerite mentioned something in Norwegian that I can't read. <laughs> so. 
Amelia is going to try and translate that for you. Oh, Lavender Butterfly, you're Sandy. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Amelia, okay, so I think it doesn't... Oh, and then let's get some other... Are you uh, translating her? Yeah, I feel like it's not it's not translating, it's not translating very well, very but it well. says... Uh, the mush... I, okay, the mush... Mushroom the shoe, lovely adventure picture. Will there be more pictures like this? Maybe more like the little lady in the shoe. Oh, like the yes, rings? you can always count on more. <laughs> um, always more to come. Okay, so the other questions that we have are taken from uh common questions that are emailed to us. So, Amelia, do you want to uh, throw those out? We, I see lots of questions or people running into issues with their needles gumming up. And they can't quilt through all the layers. And you've never, okay. why do you not have that issue? Explain. Yeah, I don't have that issue. So I'm going to walk through what I use and how I prevent uh, needles getting gummed up, thread breakage, difficulty quilting through collage. I have not come across that. Well, I have, but I, I guess I've solved the problem. So number one. Do you want to go grab those needles again? Um, the needle that I recommend, uh, first of all, when I sit down to uh, quilt something that has been collaged, the, the first thing is that I will make sure that my piece, let's pretend this is ready to quilt. I steam, 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 spray it, spray it, spray it. Press it on this side as well as on this side, okay? So that I give that temporary adhesive, if I'm using light steam as seen too, I'm giving it as much opportunity to dissipate as possible. So steam is number one. Number two, I oil my machine, make sure it's all ready and fresh ready to use. I will change my needle. I will always use a new needle. And the needle I like is this Schmetz super non-stick needle. It's a universal size. It is sold on my website. So this is the needle that I recommend. And I like to start with a fresh needle um, to ensure that it's straight and sharp. Then I will test it. Do a, a you know, I have a, I have a thing test um, my quilting and that tests my thread tension. So I'll look at the thread tension, ensure that it looks right on the front and the reverse side of the project, then I get started. So when I quilt, the other thing is I will use 100% polyester thread. I use 40 weight thread. That is embroidery weight thread. So the thread that I recommend is, do you want to grab one of the threads that's in my machine right now, actually? Um, I really, I've tried multiple different threads. This is the thread that I love. It is Isocord 40 weight thread. I always match my thread. Well, 95% of, th of the time I match my thread to the background fabric that I'm working on. And so I change my thread color a lot to match the background. We sell thread bundles on our website, collagequilter.com. So if you buy a blue thread bundle, it's been, it's blue thread in slightly, ver slight variations of color. There are four of them in a bundle. And um, part of the reason that I like Isocord too is that the colors tend to be a little, like I really like the muddy colors because they tend to blend in. They don't stand out very much. Now, with that said, there, are, there is occasion when I will do contrasting thread. Like you can see, Amelia, let me grab the quilt here. Um, I will show, I will do contrasting thread on something like the Queen Bee uh, when I wanna have some detail work. Uh, this was just a really fun way to show off his wings or create um, the wing pattern. So, that is the info about my quilting. Hope that answers. Uh, any other questions from people that we that are common questions? I think that's probably the most common I just question. Saw that 
pop up multiple times in the Facebook group this week. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see here. Uh, last question here. Um, somebody asked, will you, will you be using your new fabric for the block of the month? Yes, we are designing a new collection that will be for use in the block of the month. And um, so, yes, that's that's that. Uh, let's see. I think that's everything. Um, I... Oh, somebody asked, does Amelia do collage as well? She has dabbled in it, but um, no, I'm I'm the main collage artist in this <laughs> in this organization. I'm the only, actually, I'm the only one. Um, Amelia is just beginning to learn how to quilt. Um, she's learned how to piece and how to quilt she's used my q16 and she taught herself how to do ruler work on the q16 the bernina q16 so um yeah she doesn't do collage yet let's see have you ever tried cheryl asks have, have you ever tried uh circuit heat and press no i haven't i don't i'm not familiar with that i do have a video tutorial on youtube about when I was sampling different fusibles and the outcome. So if you want to learn more about what I learned as I was doing different, using different uh, fusibles, you can find that on YouTube. And finally, Carol asked, have you ever used metallic thread? I have not used metallic thread. Um, I am not uh, aesthetically, I, I just don't care for the look of it. I. I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just don't like the look of metallic thread very much. I'm sure I will come across a time when I'm like, oh, I need metallic thread for this. But for the most part, I don't, um, I don't care for that. <gasps> Sherry, Sherry said hi from my hospital room with two broken ankles. Doggone it, Sherry. I'm so, so sorry. Get well soon. Don't do that to yourself. Oh, shoot. So sorry. <laughs> Get better, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Marguerite, so um, I'm sorry, Marguerite. We can't, I don't, I can't, we can't translate your comment, your question very well. So uh, let's see. I think that's it. I think we're, I think we're good. It's been great having you join me again to see me in my studio. And we are going to get back to work because uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, join us next week. Uh, what's next week, Amelia, for the video tutorial? She's going to find out. In the meantime, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and so that you'll be notified when we go live and when we post new videos. You can count on a new video. Uh, either a live or a tutorial every Monday at 11 o'clock mountain time. You will find me here, but you'll be notified uh, when you sign up, when you subscribe. So what's the, it's a good one. It's tips for working from a photo to create a collage quilt. Oh yeah. You're not going to want to miss this one. So next Monday on my channel will be tips for using a photograph to create your own pattern. Okay. So, Hopefully you'll check that out. If you're interested in creating something on your own, I've got some tips for you that will help you succeed. So uh, let's see. Okay. I think that's that. So hopefully I will see you guys in two weeks when I do another live and you can watch for that recorded video next week. So let's see here. How do I end this stream? Everybody have a wonderful day. Go do something fun and be creative and we will talk again soon. Goodbye.